write a python function to find all the strong numbers in a given list of numbers write another function to find and return the factorial of a number use it to solve the problem very very important we can use another function which is going to find factorial of a number to solve the problem example a number is considered to be a strong number if sum of the factorial of its digits is equal to number itself 145 is a strong number as 1 factorial plus 4 factorial 5 factorial if you add all that find 5 factorial 4 factorial 1 factorial add all that if you're able to get the same number then it is a strong number so anyway we need to find the factorial that is why they have said use it to solve the problem the function which is about to be written to find the factorial of a number will be used to find strong numbers so let's look at this code so we have going to take three numbers first three numbers 145 20 and um, you know you know that both 145 and 2 are strong number 2 factorial we get 2 then we call it this method called find strong number then we pass this num list then finally we print the result of this let's look at this code find strong numbers of num list so we're going to take number by number right and uh, remember it's very important that uh, you're also we also find factorial of a number uh, number we're going to uh, immediately every now and then then add it to the final sum so first of all we need to separate the digits one four five and then we'll have to separate four you know uh, it's a very simple digit separation format so we're going to take a, uh, entire elements in the list num list uh, then we're going to uh, take a copy of this if i i if we're going to take a copy if it is not equal to zero then there is a point in finding out factorial of our strong number then we say take a strong number it is initialized to zero <coughs> then while num not is equal to zero till the number becomes zero we'll have to separate the digits find the factorial then add it to the sum then finally we'll have to check whether i the actual number is equal to strong number if it is so then we will add it to the strong number list we use the append function we will add it to the strong number list let's visualize this so I, I forgot to show you the code for uh, factorial of a number we know if number equal to equal to 0 or number equal to equal to 1 we will have to return 1 otherwise we will have to find the factorial of a number then return the factorial let's see how it works so we will take one number and see how the flow goes on uh, let's take 1 4 5 right so we, not, we are passing 3 numbers 1 4 5 2 0 we pass it across then it comes here num list num list is going to have three three numbers now we're going to create another strong strong list empty list then we're going to take the first element in i then the same if it is not zero then copy of that will be taken to num let's do this now i is taken as a copy and it is stored in the num because we are going to uh, digit separation we're going to perform digit separation when you perform uh, digit separation for the first time one four five will become 14 then 14 the second time 14 will become 4 third time 1 will become 0 that is why we have taken a copy of this to num then a strong number if it is going to be strong number then we need to check after performing 1 factorial 5 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 1 factorial after that we will check whether strong number equal to equal to i that is the reason we have used the third variable here and while uh, num not equal to 0 currently num is not 0 then this a fact is equal to uh, num modulus 10 so we will get obviously if you perform modulus 10 we will get fact as a 5 then we will have to find factorial of the number so we know what is the factorial of 5 factorial does right it gives us uh, 120 so once we get it 120 is being written look at this return value is 120 <coughs> then it comes here then we perform we divide the number 145 will become 14 now so 145 becomes 14 now then we, we perform the same operations again find factorial of uh, now we perform, mod, perform modulus fact will become 4 we will have to find 4 factorial so we know 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so 24 we get and that value will get returned when it is returned then we move on to the next step num again num is going to 14 now modulus 10 uh, divided by 10 will become 1 then we check num not equal to 0 yes true then we will have to find one factorial you know one factorial it is being checked here itself and the value 1 is written right there it returns 
right then the factorial of 1 is 1 so 1 4 5 strong number after returning this 5 factorial plus 4 factorial now 1 factorial is also added to that we know that the value is 1 4 5 we get it back then we see, we see it is a finally num becomes 0 that is why we have taken a copy of i to this value then finally we check if it is a strong number then we append this number to the strong number list empty list so currently it's an empty list now an element is added then again we will move on to the second element i is 2 now right we will take copy of that to num 2 is copied to num now then strong number becomes 0 we will have to start the process from again from the beginning so in this case only 2 remains so we will have to all we need to do is find 2 factorial then that's it so we will find 2 factorial 2 into 1 it will return 2 return value is 2 let's get written then we check um, then we, we divide it so the num becomes 0 so while loop fails then it comes out you now we check i equal to equal to strong number i equal yes 2 equal to equal to condition is true then we add this also with uh, to the strong number list then finally we will have 0 in place finally we will have 0 in place so since it is 0 so 0 factorial we know that if it is not uh, we know that uh, i uh, 0 is not a uh, strong number so we have ignored in, in the beginning itself we we'll check if it is 0 if it is not 0 then we perform this operation otherwise we don't perform it then we return the value 14 2 is returned here that is how it works the list is written here yes if we execute this we will get the output like this we will verify all the test cases are passed